Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing my chibi version of Kane from the Amazing Digital Circus. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off by drawing the top row of teeth. I'll start with a curve across. Then on top of the center, let's draw a line up. and then curve it up and down on both sides. Now on both sides, let's draw two more curves, getting shorter as we go for the rest of the teeth. And then let's add a curve on top for the gums. Next, let's move underneath and let's draw the eyes. Let's start with the circle on the top right. And then another one a little bit lower on the left. And then inside each of these, let's add another circle. And then another one inside on the top right. Now behind the circle and in the center, let's draw another curve. And then let's color both of these in black. And that's it for the eyes. Now let's move down and let's draw the bottom row of teeth. Let's start underneath and let's draw a curve across. And then underneath in the center, let's draw a line down. And then a curve down and back up on both sides. And let's do two more on both sides, getting smaller. Now underneath from the sides, let's draw an angle down. And then connect them at the bottom. And that's it for the teeth. Now let's move up and let's draw the hat. On the top left, let's draw a curve like this. Then on top, let's draw two angled lines up. and then a curve across the top. And that's it for the head. Now let's move down and draw the body. Let's start underneath the head and let's draw a V-shape down. And then inside at the top, let's draw the bow tie with a small square in the middle. And then an angle down from both corners. And then underneath, let's draw a small circle for the button. Now let's move to the outside and let's draw the collar. From under the head, let's draw an angled line down from both sides. Then bring it out. And then angle it back down to the center from both sides. Now underneath, let's draw a small line down in the center. Next, let's hop to the sides and let's draw a set of angles down and in for both sides for the sides of the body. Then for the bottoms, let's angle it out. And then curve both sides back up into the center. And that's it for the torso. Now let's move to the sides and add the arms. Let's start with two angles up and out on both sides. Now at the ends, let's add an oval. Now 
Now let's draw the hands starting with the right side. For this one, let's draw a curve up and back down for the thumb. And then three bumps out and back in for the fingers. Now let's hop over and draw the left hand. Let's start from the top and let's draw a curve out and bring it back in. And now from the left side, let's draw a curve down and back up, forming an oval shape behind it. And then let's draw two curves inside for the fingers. Next, let's draw the cane in his hand. Let's start underneath the thumb and let's draw an angled line down in the small gap there. And then continue it on top. And then let's draw another set of angled lines next to it on the left. And then a curve at the bottom. Now for the top, let's draw a small oval. And then a circle on top. Lastly, let's move back down to the bottom and let's draw the legs. Let's start from the center and let's draw a long line down. And then from the sides, an angled line down and in, a little bit shorter than the center line. Then let's angle it out for the tops of the feet. And then close off the bottom of each foot. And that's it for Chibi Cane, now let's quickly color it in. And done! Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me, and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!